Hey there, in this video we are going to check out the camera quality and performance of the brand new Moto G10. The Moto G10 has got four cameras. The main camera being 48 megapixel camera. And actually the main camera on this phone is very very good. We are going to see some sample pictures and also some sample images. And so you can see the quality for yourself. This is the video quality and sound quality test of the main camera of the Moto G10. The main camera has got 48 megapixel camera. Car passing by. Let's see how well it exposes the sky. It's bright sunlight. Let's see how well it recovers. On the small screen looks fairly decent. Not sure how the sound is. There's quite heavy wind blowing. So we'll see how it sounds like. Car passing by. Let's see how well it poses. Focuses. Seems like focusing is pretty fast actually. It looks very nice. And this is a video from the ultra-wide camera. Let me know what the quality is like. The main camera probably is better quality, but when we are on the small screen, the quality from the ultra-wide also looks fairly decent. Let's see how well it focuses. Yeah, it's definitely much wider and can take in a whole lot more. See how well it exposes bright sunlight. The recovery seems fairly decent. There are some sheep and a helicopter flying somewhere. Let's exposure for the sign. Seems fairly decent. And let's see general stabilization going up. Seems the stabilization is fairly good actually. The wind cover is really terrible. I'm fairly impressed with the stabilization indeed. Oh, the wind is quite something. Unusual car. Okay, let's try running. And this is stabilization when running. Let me let me know how it looks like. Some more video of the main camera. See how well it exposes the red ones. And now the same video test but with the ultra wide camera. Let me know if there's any difference. The red looks slightly different. And this is video quality in very poor weather. There's basically no sunlight and it's very overcast with heavy wind. Still the video quality, even in not the best light, seems actually fairly decent. Yeah, very true to life. Here is a picture of my cat and as you see all his coat is exposed extremely well. And the picture quality is truly stunning. 
considering it's actually found. There's some small tree. Check out these ends of this tree. They are very well exposed and very nice looking indeed. Some other uh, plants. And again, even if it's shot in direct sunlight, the photo is able to capture all the details very good. A picture of dandelion and check out these colors. They look truly stunning considering that this is such a cheap phone. Actually, this probably is one of the better phones I have seen, camera-wise. Again, this is completely in sunlight and and still it hasn't been blown out. The pictures, the details of the brick is very well kept and yeah, it's a very nice picture. Again, in this picture you can see there's quite a lot of heavy post-processing going on and that's the thing with this phone that it's able to actually get uh, very good pictures uh, thanks to its uh, processing. Again, all is, all is very well exposed and very nice looking. The colors are very true to life. Okay, a giant tree here. You see all the small branches are really well exposed and in focus and you can clearly see even the tiniest detail. So there's quite a lot of detail here indeed. Okay, just some sign again. Very nice composition here as well. Okay, so this is shot in very bad weather. However, again, the picture quality actually is very decent enough. Okay, a picture of my dog. As, yeah, he's called again. Check out his tail. It's very well captured. There's no like uh, fringing or whatever. And yeah, it's very well quality. Okay, so some houses. Check out the brickwork. So yeah, again, it captures quite a lot of detail in these photos. And yeah, very good. Okay, a picture of bench. The colors are super accurate in this photo. And they look, yeah, can really be good. Can't really get a better picture than this. Okay, some other plants with some flowers there. You see, everything's very, very nice looking. Okay, so it's just a cover. However, so check out these tiny details here. Again, it's very, very nicely exposed, and very well processed. The, the image processing for this phone is truly next level. It's similar to to the Pixel phones. Well, it might be not as good, but it's has been getting really, really good. Again, all the details are very nice in this photo, and yeah, very nice. Again, another picture of my dog. Again, just check out this picture. It looks like it's coming from a super high-end phone. Again, everything just looks very nice. Okay, so these next pictures will be shot indoors in very poor weather. Not weather, but uh, light. Still, as you see, even in poor light, it's able to capture quite, quite a lot of detail and very good colors. Okay, so a box of cornflakes, but again, check out the details. This is shot with super budget phone and it looks like it's coming from a flagship phone. So yeah, the camera on the Moto G10 definitely is, is very surprising, to say the least. Okay, some pictures of apples and some pineapple. Okay, yeah, just look at this image. It's, yeah, it looks like it's coming from high-end flagship phone. And to get such a picture quality from such a cheap phone, yeah, it's simply uncared of. So, as you saw, the camera quality of the Moto G10 definitely was very good. And if this video is helpful to you, make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you want to see more videos about the new Moto G10, then make sure to subscribe, as we'll be releasing them very soon. See you!